and it's a miracle she's here. But that's the story, isn't it, about Indigenous Australians and the legacies of colonisation. You heard today that uh, Malawi Yulapindi uh, died at 56 of kidney failure. I mean, and the uh, song which uh, everybody remembers, Treaty, is still, a, is still a, a fairy tale. Because, see, a lot of people think that the Mobile High Court judgment um, had minimal impact. But the important thing to remember is what happened in 1992, not the government of the day or the state, but the legal system recognised that Indigenous Australians, both Torres Strait Islanders and Aboriginals, had rights to land in law because of their prior occupation, and the Crown, taking over the land, did not extinguish those rights. If there are any deficiencies in the Mabo judgment, it's the fact that the bucket loads, those of you who are old enough to remember the debate that occurred in 1992, remember we were told that our backyards were going to be uh, encamped by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders in the city. And it didn't take long for bucket loads. And these were the words of the government of the day, bucket loads of extinguishment to be poured on the judgment. So Marbo is the first and only, in the Marbo judgment, the first and only indication in the history of this country, in the legal history of this country, that this country was colonised. This country was colonised and the, those who were colonised had rights in European law as well as in British law as well as traditional law. And that's the strength of the judgement and that's why there's been so many people on so many fronts attempting to subvert the letter of the law and the spirit of that judgement. Now in North Queensland, in far North Queensland, today is a, a national holiday. There will be ceremonies all across the Torres Strait and parts of North Queensland. Other parts of Australia, there will be ceremonies to mark this, this, this historic judgement. And why it's historic is it gave us, non-Indigenous Australians, the opportunity to begin a dialogue and a journey with our Indigenous brothers and sisters that's based on justice, not charity. It's one thing providing charity to somebody who's down in their luck. It's another thing recognising they're down on their luck or in that position because of the process of colonisation. So it's good to see you here to mark that event. We have an open microphone, so we're going to pass it round feel free to say something or feel free to say nothing. It's really up to you. Uh, there are leaflets here. Take some home to your friends. I think it's important that uh, what Ellen said uh, isn't forgotten. And we will be here on the 3rd of June at midday next year to mark that day. Even if there's one person here, it highlights the fact that this judgment is important to us as a nation. Uh, yes, I'd, I'd like to um, commend the um, original inhabitants of this land and uh, another com commendation is for um, Ellen. She instituted uh, this commemoration and uh, it's been religiously held ever since and we all know Ellen's had some major health problems but her fighting spirit goes on and it's great to see her today. Yeah.